uh, this happened with my uh, very close friend you know my childhood friend um uh, 2010 july okay we went to alibag and one of my friends so we have uh, we have a group college group and one of my friend got married 3 months back so he wanted to introduce his wife to uh, you know the, the uh, college friends and uh, childhood friends so he got his wife to alibag okay it was an overnight uh, uh, stay kind of uh, uh, outing and we went to alibag we reached there around 4 4:30 pm and uh, it was raining quite heavily on that day um we started boozing okay uh, at around 5 5:30 we started boozing and uh, it was a you know uh, it was a you know not very well known resort and i will not probably name it for obvious reason i'll tell you later so we started boozing we started partying and uh, this party went on till uh, 1:30 2 am at night okay and this resort had uh, ground floor and you know first floor Uh, so my we were running out of uh, chakna you know we asked our friend uh, that we need some more chakna so he told his wife since we four of us were boozing he asked his wife can you go upstairs because they were uh, staying on the first floor can you go upstairs and get us chakna so his wife left i mean she went at around 2 am and then we we continued you know we we started cracking jokes and uh, partying and all mm. 20 minutes i think 20 minutes or 30 minutes later there was no sign of this lady this lady didn't come back and uh, we started getting restless and we asked our friend you know what happened to your wife she was supposed to get the chakna back and there is no sign of her so he went to investigate he he went upstairs to see uh, what is happening so now this is a one room uh, resort okay that there, there is a you know a bed a bedroom and there's a small kitchen i mean not not a functional kitchen a small kitchen mm-hmm. and next you know there's a window uh, to that kitchen and very close to that which kitchen there is a tree okay there is a mm. tree hardly 10 meters away from the kitchen window now when my f- friend went upstairs okay this lady was frozen okay she was s- scared of something she was looking outside the window and she was directly looking at the tree and she was frozen okay so my friend went up to her and he said hey what's the matter why didn't you come back we were waiting for uh, chakna so you know with with a very pale face she looked at my friend and she asked do you see the girl sitting in the tree and my friend looked at the tree and there was no one and my friend said what are you talking about she said no no you can see the girl sitting in the tree she is staring right at me how can you not see her so my friend knew that there was something wrong something very uh, you know unnerving about that place so he closed the window and he got his wife down and he narrated the whole incident what happened okay now uh, we want we then started cracking jokes you know how guys are we we wanted to digress from the topic we started cracking jokes mm. now next morning uh, since his wife was not drinking uh, four of us were you know uh, we had a party like uh, that night so he told his wife why don't you why don't we stop at a mandir okay because he knew that something was wrong and he didn't want to take it with him he wanted to go to a mandir and probably you know uh, get rid of that entity or whatever it was and he is a quite religious man so he said let's stop at a mandir okay so we were in a car uh, five of us so he stopped just a few meters away from mandir and his wife went into the mandir to pray it was a hanuman mandir and we were just standing few meters away from the car okay there was nobody close to the car and we were just talk- talking about you know how we partied and what happened etc etc so all of a sudden when we turned back and we were coming towards the car we could see seven to eight dogs were growling at something at the top of the car okay there was nobody close to the car but the dogs were barking growling and you know they, they were not they they could sense that there is a presence near the car or above the car and they were growling in that direction uh, you know looking uh, at the top of the car now we were a bit spooked about it even my friend was spooked about it but we didn't uh, show this up so we drove back to mumbai okay uh, 
cut to three weeks later. Now this is part one of the story. Part two begins now. Three weeks later, I called up my friend and I asked him, uh, "Hey, dude, it's been uh, you know three weeks. Uh, we didn't get a chance to meet each other, and uh, since we have a very hectic uh, work life, can we meet? After, you know, ever since Alibag, we didn't get a chance. So he said, "Hey, dude, not possible. There is a havan going on in my house. Okay, for the past five days." I said, "Dude, what happened? Uh, you know, everything okay?" So now this is the second part of the story, which my friend narrates. Uh, after they came from Ali Bag, his wife used to get constant nightmares. Okay, and in her nightmare, she used to see the same girl sitting in the tree, and this time the girl is ripping the hair off her scalp, and she's eating it while she's staring at his wife. Okay, and this went on for a week. Now, as she narrated. This also spooked my friend because this is not one of instance. This has been happening every night over a week. So he called up his uh, pundit. You know, he is a very religious guy. So he called up some pundit of Purohitin uh, UP, and then uh, he started narrating the whole incident, what happened in Ali Bag, and uh, you know the following incidents. So his uh, pundit said, "Do not leave your wife alone." Okay. She's being lashed on by some powerful entity. It's a very, very dark spirit. I can sense it from here, but don't leave her alone because I have to come to your house and investigate what we are dealing with here. It's not human. You're not dealing with a human spirit here. So my friend was quite spooked about it, and uh, one day, now this this really happened. He and his wife were alone in the room. Okay, it's a one uh, one BHK. Uh, so he was playing uh, guitar and he was singing songs. to uh, you know divert his wife's mind from this whole incident and after singing for like 20 30 minutes he stopped he took a break no all of a sudden you know there were just two people in the in the room okay all of a sudden something or someone was clapping rhythmically as soon as the music stopped okay and it was in proper rhythm it was not just a random person clapping it was in, in proper rhythm as if that entity or whoever it is is enjoying the music now again he narrated the whole incident to that purohit so purohit said he has to get some stuff uh, before he could do the exorcism because there is a need for the exorcism to happen uh the pandit ji came okay few days later pandit ji came and uh, he started investigating every look in corner of the house he started uh, going into the bedroom kitchen uh, hall he started investigating each and every corner of the house and then he started talking to my friend I feel that there is a strong presence of a demonic entity in the house. Okay, and this entity is very powerful. It will not leave your wife so easily unless we start a uh, exorcism. Or, you know, Hinduism they have this havan to get rid of the uh, evil spirit to cleanse the entire house. So this cleansing activity has to start ASAP. And then this was this has to happen for ten days because in order to get rid of the demon and and you know. Uh, You throw that demon or cast that demon back to the tree. This uh, whole uh, ritual was required. So after five days, again I called him. I asked him, you know, hey, what happened? Everything okay? He said, yeah, the uh, the havan went successful. They got rid of the demon. But then his friend asked uh, the pundit, why did this actually happen? Why did the demon follow them back to uh, Mumbai? So Pandit Ji started giving his side of uh, explanation. He said, "Whenever you look at a demonic entity or anything, any dark uh, energy, don't acknowledge their presence." So in this case, his wife, who could see the demon sitting in the tree in the form of a girl, she was staring back at the demon and she was giving her energy to the demon. That is when the demon also lashed on itself to that woman. he was the demon was actually consuming her energy so all this while while she was being attacked or lashed on by this demon this lady used to feel very low on energy she used to feel tired the entire day and luckily after the soul exorcism happened uh, they said the demon was cast away or probably thrown back on the tree that's why that's the reason they didn't, didn't take the name of the they asked me not to take the name of the hotel not to tell because there is a high possibility that demon could be still sitting in the tree and waiting for the next victim so yeah this is the whole uh, story which happened with my friend back in uh, 2010
Thanks for listening. How did you like the story? Let me know your feedback by commenting below if you're listening to this episode on YouTube and if you're listening to this episode on any of the audio platforms, DM me on Instagram. I would love to know your feedback.